four-bedroom villa in Tulum for $5.99. If you're in the market and you want to get a little bit more guidance on how to invest in the Riviera Maya, in Tulum, Playa del Carmen, or Cancun, make sure you click on the buyer's guide below. My name is Lev and I'm the co-founder of the Elements Group. And today, we're going to go see what a four-bedroom villa looks like under 600000 And without further ado, follow me. A villa like this is located in Region 15, which is an up-and-coming area right now in Tulum. This villa is 3,200 square feet, which is huge. Now, Region 15, we all know, is still an up-and-coming area, which means the roads aren't fully paved, which means that they're still lacking a little bit of infrastructure as well as commercial spaces. But with time, all of this is going to change. For example, a short two-minute walk from here is a new commercial spot, which is going to have 18 commercial spaces, restaurants, businesses, pharmacies, bars, so on and so forth. The mayor has also concluded that this area will be paved sooner rather than later. Now these roads, it's not that they're undrivable, they're just not fully paved. Gravel roads. And here in this neighborhood, you can find probably the best price per square foot in Tulum. These villas in another developed neighborhood would be roughly double the price. However, here, they're only $5.99. Six of them are in phase one and six of them are in phase two. And in phase one, there's only one left and we're standing in it. Now let's go take a look at the actual space. If you come over here, this is the living quarters. So you have floor to ceiling windows on both sides. The TV goes there, the sectional goes here, and it's a great space to hang out. The developer also had a nice touch where he put plants underneath the actual staircase to give it that earthiness and that natural vibe inside the house. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still under construction, but this villa is going to be ready at the end of March 2024. Something that the developer did that was really awesome was put a massive North American island. A lot of properties here have little dinky islands, whereas this is great for entertaining. You have the fridge that goes there, tons of cabinet space and tons of cooking space as well. And behind here is the service quarters. So this is where your laundry is going to go. This is where all the cleaning supplies will go. And this is where you could find all of the services. There's also a bathroom on the main floor that's getting finished up. And a really cool feature is a bedroom. Now this bedroom What's cool about it is that it has an actual door that gets you into the pool. So whoever's sleeping in here, whether it's you or your guests, will have access directly into the pool from here. Follow me and take a look at this terrace. Something really cool that the developer did was have this awesome inside outside space. So the kitchen's right there. And then where I'm standing right now, this is a huge terrace that overlooks the pool. And on the terrace, you have a space for a grill, a space for a mini fridge, and also a sink. So all of your hanging out and cooking and partying and enjoying your time here in Tulum could be done right here next to the pool. Let's go check out upstairs. Coming upstairs, the stairs are semi-floating, which is a really nice touch made out of local Salam wood. So it stays fresh. It knows how to handle the humidity and the heat. On the second floor, we have three bedrooms. The first one is the smallest one. And this bedroom here is great for our kids. It's great for couples. It's great for anyone when your guests are staying here. The other bedroom is a little bit bigger and it fits also two to four people with its own ensuite and with its own closet. Take a look right here. Something that the developer did for all the bedrooms is planters right off the balcony so that you feel like you're in the jungle all the time. And when you wake up, you'll be able to look at not just the next door house and the trees, but also a huge lush garden right in here. And finally, we have the primary bedroom. It has a walk-in closet, an ensuite, and it is huge floor-to-ceiling windows, 
a massive balcony that stretches across the entire second floor and beautiful views of the jungle. Now, before we go upstairs, wanted to remind you, if you're in the market and you're looking for some guidance on how to buy real estate in Tulum and navigate these waters, let us help you. Click on the buyer's guide below and let's get started. And now let's go take a look at the main feature, which is the rooftop. Follow me. We're on the rooftop of the last villa that's available in this complex of phase one, and it is massive. Take a look at how much space this villa has on its rooftop. You can have a jungle gym here. You can have a yoga area. You can watch the sunrise, the sunset, have drinks, gaze at the stars, and there's a full barbecue and kitchen area here as well. So properties like this generate incredible returns in Tulum because you could fit a lot of people. And a property like this could fit up to 14 people if you separate the bedrooms properly. These types of villas should generate easily $100,000 a year in gross revenue. My name is Lev, that's the end of the tour. If you wanna get your hands on this villa, make sure you click on the buyer's guide and make sure to also watch our videos on our channel.